Hey everybody, Jim Edwards here. Welcome back to the Sales Copywriting Content Marketing Hacks Podcast. I'm your host, along with my trusty co-host, Mr. Stu Smith. Welcome, Stu. Thank you, Jim. Today is podcast episode 168, Feeling Great at 168, or Can't Believe I Ate What I Ate at 168 this morning. Of course, it's not really a time, is it? Mm. Oh, well. And uh, Oh, dude, I totally missed. You were born in 68, though. Nope. 67? 69. Oh, okay. Wow, nice. you're way younger than me. Um, I missed the whole 167 last last month. I, I mean, last, last week I could have done the, you know, 67, you great year, year I was born. Totally blew that one. What are we talking about today, Stu? It is um, another question from the Facebook group. Which, mm-hmm. by the way, if you're not a member of the Sales Copywriting Content Marketing Hacks Facebook group, you should be. A lot of good stuff in there. Like mm-hmm. questions like this, which we gave answers to. Um, <laughs> but it's uh, it was real simple. And it gave me an idea of peppering you with multiple questions. Ah. Um, and maybe even the audience can help me pepper you. Uh, okay. But it is the best wizard or script used for blank. I feel like Ah. that uh, old game show. Um, Which old game show? I can't remember who it was now, but it was, he always had a blank and he had to fill in the blank, you know, with the star in there. So, so. Hollywood. What's my line? Oh, with Charles Nelson Riley. You remember him? Charles Nelson Riley. Holy cow. Yeah. So best Um, wizard or script for blank. And the, Susan, the original, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, Susan says, do the minute to answer. That's the other thing. You can't give me my old man amount of time. You only got to give me like a minute or two minutes to be able to answer. Yeah, we got multiple questions here. I mean, already, okay. if, if the audience is uh, not living up to their end of this bargain, I have several <laughs> as backups. Stu Smith just called you a slacker. What are you going to do <laughs> so, about it? The original question was, hey, What's the best wizard or script for making bullets? So that was it. That was the end of the question. So I got to thinking, I was like, hey, let's go through and make a big list and let Jim answer what's the best wizard for sales letter, for video sales letter, for Facebook ads, for product reviews, for testimonials, for content marketing, blah, blah, blah. So there's a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of ideas. I want you to be able to answer like off the top of your head, this is what I would do. Okay. I get questions like this all the time. Okay. So as far as what's the best wizard to make bullets with, you come over into funnel scripts, go to the bullet scripts and you can use the easy avatar bullet scripts, which is really easy because you literally just load that load your avatar and it will make, um, it'll make all your bullets for pretty much anything you're trying to do. I mean, this is, this is, this is really the cheat code right here. Um, The another one is the FBM bullet script. And that one really helps you to make customized bullets that you can kind of do on the, on the fly for anything from an opt-in page to um, a, uh, to a sales letter, to a video sales letter, to coming up with quickie calls to action or, or ways to get people excited about something. So those are your two best ones inside of Funnel Scripts uh, would be the, uh, the Easy Avatar Bullet Scripts and the FBM Bullet Scripts, feature, bene- feature Benefit Meaning. And yes, Robert, Gene Rayburn was the man. That's him. That's him. Cool. All right. What's the next one? Best wizards or scripts for blank. Anybody in the audience? Okay. What do you got? Susan said, do as many as you can because we can cut this into stuff and use them as help desk answers. So it. It, we'll we'll wait for somebody else to ask what your what's what's one you want to know, but Stu, do another one. Yeah, let's wow. do um sales letter. Okay. So we have a number of those. If you are in funnel scripts and you want to do a sales letter, you can come down here to where it says sales letter scripts. The fastest way to get a sales letter done is the mega sales letter script 
full avatar because what that's going to do is again you load your avatar and uh, it pretty much all over but the crying it'll make a Dang. short version of your sales letter with your offer stack guarantee all that stuff um it's got a longer version where it'll tell kind of the story and other stuff like that um so this is a great way, great way if you have done your avatar to get a sales letter lickety lickety split. Next mm. thing you also want to do is if you need a video sales letter, you go under the sales uh, sales letter scripts and the uh, mega BSL script will write your not one, not two, but three complete video sales letters for you along with all the slides and uh it does three totally different um you know let me delete my avatar but um it'll, it'll it'll do three completely different scripts and will give you the powerpoint slides so you could use them as a as a teleprompter or you could actually use them um throw some graphics in them and record that and that's your video sales letter so that's definitely the go-to one as far as that is concerned so nice. there you go. Nice. Okay. How about uh, product reviews? Okay. So if you want to do, oh, and by the way, just, you know, it's fun. there's, there's an entire video sales letter done in PowerPoint. based on the that. avatar Look at that in script. PowerPoint, the whole thing. Nice. So um, inside of the Jim Edwards Method Premium and all, I think it, we have it in content marketing scripts as well. Um, Let's look here real quick. Uh, nope, we don't have it in here yet. Okay, so the only place that you can get it is over inside the Jim Edwards Method Premium. We go into um, Easy Online Wizards. We have the product uh, content creation, product review wizard. This is screaming hot. If you ever said, you know, I wish I could write an advertorial or something or write a, a, uh, a review that I could use, especially for affiliate products, but also for my own products. What if I wanted to write a product review that I could hand out to affiliates and let them uh, do their thing or just write a review of my own freaking product and explain why it's cool. That's this what I will walk you step by step through the entire thing and it works really well and I don't use it nearly enough. The big problem that it solves is how can you write about a product with it sounding, it sounding like a sales letter? How can you give people great information, do an actual review of a product without coming off as a sales letter? Because people trust product reviews, a lot of times don't trust straight sales letters. This is based on the framework used in really good professionally done advertorials as well as my 10 years of writing for newspapers and uh, reviewing products and stuff. This is absolutely going to change your life. Walks, it just makes it so easy where you might jerk around for three, four, five hours. You can have this done in about 30 minutes. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. This one and the Hidden Persuasion Wizard. Yes. I use that as a little product review or as a way to send people to a new article I wrote. There you go. As well. Yeah. Awesome. Jorge posted something in here inside the private chat. He asked about what about testimonials? Stu, mm. do your thing. <laughs> My thing for testimonials? Oh, no, I'm... no, no. Ask me the question. Oh, Jim, what's the best wizard or script for testimonials well you know interestingly enough Stu, a couple different scripts you could use and if you come over into a funnel scripts and you go to the case study testimonial scripts we have two different scripts which you could potentially use now what's the difference between a case study and a testimonial a testimonial is basically somebody telling you you did a great job a or they got you know that they got a result with your product they like you all that good stuff. A case study is basically the story of how somebody got a result with your product, your service, your coaching, your software. So two different things. 
testimonials are usually shorter. So the million dollar testimonial script, the reason why you don't get a lot of testimonials is because you don't ask the right way. If you ask somebody, hey, can you give me a testimonial? They're like, yeah, I'd love to give you a testimonial. Then they avoid you like you have, you know, head lice. Because not because they don't want to do it, but because they don't know how to do it. The easiest way, what's the easiest way to create content, Stu? Use. <laughs> Ask a question. <laughs> oh, that's the, the easiest way to get somebody to give you some content is to just ask them a question. Unless you so ask me a this, question. That didn't work. Yeah, it did. I was used, <laughs> that was an example. Okay, so here's the thing. Like you fill out the basics about your product, okay, your target audience, all that stuff. And then it asks all the basic questions, you know, what what'd you enjoy about it? What would you say to somebody in, you know, this particular type of person who's struggling? So it literally walks you through a results testimonial or just a basic testimonial. And it, it helps you to come up with the perfect questions to elicit a great testimonial. Same thing with the case study wizard, but this gets them to tell you the story of how they used your stuff to get a result. And typically these are longer. You can actually use them as parts of webinars and things like that. So that's the difference between the million dollar testimonial script and the case study script. Hey, real um, quick, let me let me uh, share with you something I have done in the past is I have taken the quote wizard and filled uh -huh. it with a testimonial. Oh, wow. So that worked really well as well. So you use the same format as a quote wizard instead of, you know, giving somebody credit for a quote that they use that's inspirational or whatever. I put the testimonial inside the quote wizard. That's pretty cool. And the quote wizard's available inside of content marketing scripts or inside of the Jim Edwards Method Premium. Yep. I also, so, excellent. Uh, I got another one for you. Uh -huh. I also use a hero's journey for uh -huh. a testimonial as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I'll use nice. a hero's journey script with someone who, you know, has lost 40 pounds and got in shape to join the military or whatever their journey is. Um, and and go through that uh, model as well. And then that one's for me, that one's a fun one to do. That's great. And we have a couple different versions of the hero's journey. We have the hero's journey, which gets into real in-depth detail. And then we also have the short hero's journey, which will um, help you do that in fewer blanks. Other thing that you can use uh, is the avatar hero's journey. And that'll help you to create craft a, a story for your avatar. Yeah. That becomes the representative of your, of your folks. Yeah. So um, turn that into an article too, by the way, it's great. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, we have some other ones that have commas in between them. We have um, Susan is uh, getting these together from the folks. So your other choices are, Hey, what's the best script for VSL? What's the best script for OTOs and upsells? What's the best one to get people onto webinars? So let's start with the VSL ones, Stu. Go ahead and ask me the question. Jim, what's the best wizard or script for the VSL? Well, you know, Stu, the best one for the VSL is over here inside of funnel scripts. And there's one script in particular that you're going to want to use. And that is the, it's the mega VSL script. That's going to have based on your avatar, it's going to write not one, not two, but three different video sales letter scripts, all based off the same avatar. So you basically just put your avatar in there along with the offer for that avatar and it'll make all your slides and all your goodies. Um, we also have in the downloadable wizards, we have the VSL wizard, which is similar to the mega VSL wizard, but it's not avatar enabled. So those are your couple of your options for that. Um, there are other things you can use to make a, a VSL as well, but those would be the ones that you would want to start with. Um, so the next one is OTOs and upsells. Jim, what's the best wizard or script for OTOs and upsells? So the best ones that we have um, is, are inside of funnel scripts. And we actually have four of them, okay? 
we have well we have several and we have the order bump script which will help you for doing a point of purchase so like when we sell the copywriting secrets book the order bump we have is the video slash audio version of the book that you can get that's me reading the book to Stu and Stu asking questions um, so that's the order bump script inside of funnel scripts. That one will help you to create great order bump copy so that you can make 15, 20, 30 percent more on average. This is not an income claim. Your results may vary. But me personally, you know, you 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 will make more money in my experience offering some sort of an order bump. And then we also have the OTO one time offer for all the different ways pretty much you would do an OTO. So if you've got coaching or done for you offer, you use the OTO coaching done for you script. Um, if they're, if you're offering like a video course or a done with you type of thing, group coaching, stuff like that, uh, you can do the OTO done with you. Um, if you are doing an upsell, like, you know, they just bought one bottle of goop and you want them to buy three or four more, you can do the more of what you just bought one. And then the OTO next thing script would be um, if you they bought this one thing and then you want to say, hey, if you really want to take this to the next level or now that you've bought this, uh, a lot of people realize they they want to get this. So, you know, you say, let's say you were selling a course on video photography or something like that. Maybe the next thing you would sell them would be a bunch of plugins for Photoshop or something so that they could once they take great photos they could do other cool stuff with them so those are your big options and those are all available inside of funnel scripts um next one is emails to get people on webinars do it Stu. hey jim what's the best wizard or script for emails to get people on webinars i'm going to tell you right now Stu. the best email scripts to get people onto webinars are inside of fill my webinar scripts fill my webinar scripts is the premier solution to help you get more signups more show ups and more sales the problem with most people with their webinars is that they spend all the time putting together the webinar the interview the online event the zoom whatever and then they leave the promotion to an afterthought they're like oh crap i guess i better run an ad or, oh crap i guess i better send an email out to my list then they neglect the promo and nobody shows up. And then they say, oh, webinars don't work. No, your webinar probably would have worked if you could have gotten a couple live bodies there. So that's what Fill My Webinar Scripts does is it helps you to get more signups, more show ups and more sales by sending all 36 emails you have to create to actually effectively promote a webinar to get the signups, to get the people actually to show up to the webinar and then to get them to buy afterwards. Nice. So the next one, next question that somebody asked was emails to build relationships with people that buy your product or service. Jim. Yes, what's the best? What's the best wizard for emails to build relationships with people that buy your product or service? You know, Stu, the answer to that is pretty much any freaking script we've got that creates content. Because what you want to do to build that relationship is to send them value. So whether you're just sending them a 60 second tidbit or you're sending a content sandwich where you're basically um, giving them curated content that somebody else put out or you're doing the hero's journey or one of the tip wizards or a listicle or a meme or, or a quote. Anything that you send with the intention of giving people value, especially if they've already bought from you. Because in the end, listen to me very closely, kids. In the end, the only business asset that you truly own is the relationship you have with the people who choose to follow you. Anybody can buy an email list. That's not going to make them any money. Mm -hmm. Anybody can have a product. Anybody can rip off your product. I could go find a Navy SEAL and I could have him rewrite Stu's workout books. Okay. And then you could have Navy SEAL workout book. What Stu ultimately owns, 
that makes his business so valuable, what I own that makes my business valuable is the relationship I have with the people who choose to pay attention to me and the trust that we have with them. So by continually adding value to their lives in the form of additional valuable content, that's any of those will do. Now, inside Funnel Scripts, we also have um, onboarding email sequences that we use. I mean, when, it, when we come out with something new, Susan's like, hey, did you get me some emails? And so I go use the script and come up with the, the basic sequence just to start that so we know. Pew, 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 pew. But the real relationship comes from the Wednesday newsletter and the Thursday article of the week where we're adding value consistently to people's lives. Ping, ping, ping over time. Nice. Okay. Um, Angie said, uh, I've also taken the quote wizard for testimonials. Great tips, Stu. Excuse me. Everybody else knows this great tip except for me. Um, <laughs> it's so. It's well, Andy. Excuse me. So uh, what scripts will help me create content for my blog? Jim. What's the best wizard or script to help me create content for my blog? Stu, again, pretty much anything that we have inside of the Jim Edwards Method Premium or inside of content marketing scripts will help you to create content for your blog or for your email newsletter. The great thing is that all of these create content that works great on a blog. It works great on Facebook Live, it works great on LinkedIn, it works anywhere that you can share content. These will create original content using proven frameworks that get people excited to pay attention to what you have to share. Yeah, just about everything that I use the wizards and scripts for is going on my blog. Because yes. I write quote quote wizards, I use testimonials, I use product reviews. Hidden persuasion wizards, you know, all of the yep. oh, the avatar article, you know, all of those are great content. Yep. And then you throw Absolutely. in a killer title or headline, which, by the way, is there a wizard or script for a good <laughs> headline or title, Jim? Stu, I oh. got great. I got great headline and title scripts coming out my wazoo. Let me tell you, inside of <laughs> just these things are flying at me, man. Inside of funnel scripts, we have a section that says titles, headlines, and subject line scripts. Stu, if your hmm. problem is not knowing what to name it or how to grab attention with it, I can solve that problem in about a dozen different ways. We got the timeless classic headlines, short headlines, profitable title scripts, profitable webinar titles and secrets, opportunities. So we, dude, we got it. All right. We got a headline in here that will work. If you got to name something, which by the way, on your offer stack, the most important thing on any offer stack is the name of the individual stuff in the stack. If your title sucks, you can have the greatest thing in the world and people won't care. But if you have a screaming cool title, you can have mediocre content and you'll make a lot of sales. Now, it's up to you to make the sales stick. Um, so that would be the place to start. We also have a bunch of uh, title scripts over inside of the Jim Edwards Method Premium as well. So those will really help you a bunch as far as coming up with that. And I would encourage you to use them. Otherwise, people fall into that, you know, how to, big benefit. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Well, Stu, we've got a couple more, and then we're going to have to call We're going to have to stick a fork in this one. Um, yes. So uh, how about abandoned cart? Jim, what's the best wizard or script for abandoned carts? Look at that. You I'm have one right there. I'm glad you asked, Stu. Inside of the email scripts, inside of uh, funnel scripts, we have the abandoned cart email script. This will help you to reclaim the sales that you're losing to people walking away from your cart. So the other one that we have uh, is inside of a fill my webinar scripts. We actually have an entire abandoned cart sequence that's built specifically to help you 
on people going to the cart after the webinar and then abandoning that cart. So that's a specialized version of uh, abandoned cart email mm. sequence. So we've got a couple of those that are amazing. Um, how about which one should I start with? People are going to ask that. Which script do I start with? Mm. Jim, what's the best wizard or script someone should do for the first time? Which one should so I start with? It, it really comes down to what are you trying to accomplish? Ultimately, it just comes down to what, what's your purpose? People say, hey, what's the best script for selling to, to um, you know, real estate agents or accountants? That's not the right question. The question is, what are you trying to accomplish? And once you know what you're trying to accomplish, then you know which script or, or combination of scripts. Inside of Funnel Scripts, we have the Funnel Scripts Blueprints. Inside the Jim Edwards Method Premium, we have the, um, the recipes. So you can look at those and see what you want to make. And then you can see what the ingredients are, which are the scripts, and uh, then how to use them and assemble them together. So, Stu, that's going to have to do it for us. Well, you know something funny, Jim? I could have the same show on my next podcast and ask myself the very same questions of like, Stu, what's the best program for becoming a Marine, for becoming a Navy diver? Right. Army Ranger. Yep. Believe it or not, it's right here. The one that's titled the Army Ranger Workout <laughs> Program. Yours was, you like, yours was like, phew. the awesome. answer's right in front of you. You just got to look. There you go. Um, all right. Well, that's it for this one. Robert just asked a question. We'll maybe we can hit that one next time, but I got to go. Uh, if you are interested in any of these scripts, you can check out funnel scripts. You can check out uh, content marketing scripts. You can check out the Jim Edwards method premium. And, uh, if they want to get in shape, Stu, where should they go? StuSmithFitness.com. Dot com. All right. Thanks everybody for joining us. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, everybody.